Welcome back, everybody, to the Planet Crafter. I'm the Bearded OG, and we are 46.5345.6. You get the idea. <laughs> Percent of the way towards lakes. It's an amazing thing. Um, all right. So let's see. In this episode, we are going to... We're going to go do a couple of things out and about that uh, a few of you in the comments have been continually reminding me to do. <laughs> uh, there's Apparently there's a secret compartment in that desert ship that I missed in season one. And um, so we're just going to go at least open it up so we know where it is. And also I missed a blue chip. Uh, a blue. I don't know why I keep calling them blue chips. Well, they are blue chips. I'm not wrong, but a micro chip. Um, in the ship, the the noob ship that's over there, um, and so we'll go grab that too. And do we? I don't think I have any blue chips, microchips available. The other thing we should do is take this rocket and launch a pressure rocket to get the boost on our pressure. So we're at twenty five point fifteen million terraforming units, uh, making pretty good progress there too. Um, so yeah, uh, we did, we did launch one rocket to boost heat and get some uranium. Let's do one for pressure. And we'll be doing quite a few more of those too, before it's all said and done. Uh, so I guess what we got to do is go all the way out here to see what the recipe is for that thing. Cause I cannot remember what the hell it is. So let's do that first. Got a, a storm, but not a meteorite storm. All right, so we want a pressure rocket, and we'll pin that and go back and get the stuff for it. One thing I was thinking about doing is maybe making a, a stairway down into the canyon, you know, right from the base, just so we can get in and out of it more quickly. Eventually, we'll be able to make teleporters, and then... You know, we can just make a teleporter if we need to, but teleporters are very expensive. Um, and so, you know, that's going to be a while. Let's see here. Let's come in here and harvest. guess you guys are only 90% of the way. Uh, I set up another bin here for food seeds because we have so many of them. And uh, we're going to eat that. We'll keep the other one in our inventory for the nonce. And let's see here. Let's grab some water out of here. We'll put it all in there. We'll take one. Let's take two because we'll have to drink fairly soon. Do I have enough super? I just have enough super. Uh, no, actually, I only need two super. And we need three silicon. There we go. Now, this rocket will also bring this iridium, which... Do we need iridium? Yes, we could use it. I mean, any excess iridium that we get, we can turn into rods. And you can, you know, the, the same goes for uranium, super alloy, and osmium. Don't know if we have any other types of rods besides those. And then if you ever, you know, if you ever need the loose stuff back, you can just put it in the recycler, which we need to make. All right, so let's do our first pressure rocket. Pressure multiplier of 1,000%. And let's do it. And like we did with the uranium, we'll just let the storm come and I'll go pick up the iridium later once all the debris clears. As far as I know, it'll stick around as long as we don't log out. If you log out, though, then it does disappear. Some of you were telling me too in the comments that when we get the super alloy storms which will come later that it only sticks around for 15 minutes but that's not been my observation it seems to stick around as long as you don't log out then definitely um so it's possible that they could have changed something with that or you know something else i don't know not really sure off camera i believe i added one more tier one a nuclear power plant and I added a couple more drills I think I think that's all I've done off camera uh, I haven't spent a, spent a lot of time off camera since the last episode uh, but I did do a couple more of those things 
Okay, so um, let's grab ourselves. Let's see, we've got 102. Where we're going, we have we have the huts. We have air huts, so we're good. All right, let's take off. Oh, I, I added a couple more grass spreaders too, I think. Uh, these two right here. That's what I did extra. Very good. So, yeah, let's go. We're going to go do a couple of things that... Um, that I've been missing. Get those done. We'll probably stop off at the iridium mine uh, or extractor and the aluminum extractor and grab those ores out of those things too. If we have space, we'll see. And then after that, I think we'll probably just work on some more terraforming stuff in this episode. I'm recording this after a long and somewhat stressful day at the office, so I'm just kind of wanting to chillax and not be, not stress about anything. <laughs> oh man, you know how it is. It wasn't a terrible day at work, but you know what they say, the worst day of playing Planet Crafter is better than the best day at work. Actually, it's fishing, but we can, we can substitute Planet Crafter for that, right? Um, okay, so in here, there is supposed to be a hidden wall that I've missed several times. And, um... I think it's... I, I, oh, shit. I'm, I have to go... I'd have to go back and look at the comments. I don't think it's in here. Maybe it is. I think it's by wherever the... Uh, the fusion reactor is, which I think is on the, actually on the other side of this ship now that I think about it. We're going to continue to let those crates sit a little bit longer. And, uh, just get a little bit better loot in them. Yeah, okay. So let's go back out and replant our O2. And then we'll go into the other side of the ship. And we want to find the fusion reactor. I think it's all the way back here. It's not back in there. All right, let's go up here. There we go. Okay, so supposedly it's, I think, in this room somewhere. If we get close to it, it should say something about deconstructing it. Deconstruct debris. That's it. <laughs> we did it. All right. We did it. There's three more crates in here. Fan freaking tastic. Okay. So, uh, but again, we're going to let them we're going to let them ferment. Oh, there we go. We got our tier 2 nuclear. Okay, that's the next thing we're going to work on. Um but now uh yeah, now we've opened that up and we'll we'll have even three more crates to get later on. And that's a beautiful thing. Okay. So, let's get back out of here if I can remember how if we go through here yeah we might need to we might need to do another heat rocket for uranium which uh, which we can do. We're going to have to get more super, though, for that. Just so we can make a few more rods. I'll have to look and see what we currently have for uranium in our chest. I don't think we have a ton. Uh, I know where two uranium caves are, but I'm not sure if they're if the ice has melted yet for us to go get their uranium from them. Um, one of them's over by the star gateway over there, and one of them's way out that way. What we should probably do here is Yeah, let's let's make a shed and a storage to store the extra ore in so we can keep getting the ore that we need there. Uh here, let's grab this. Stick 
you there. Stick you there. We'll make a... Oh, I guess, yeah, I guess the tier two biodome unlocked too. So we're going to, we're going to work on that as well. There you go. That allows us to start making tree bark, which we need for a lot of the, oh, mutagenic stuff. All right. So we're going to keep the basic ores in here, but we're going to take the iridium with us. And then, you know, as time goes on. We'll just keep adding more chests here to keep storing the stuff until eventually we can get to drones. And once we get to drones, then I'm going to have the drones actually haul all of that stuff back to us. That's the plan for that. All right, so it's back over here that you guys said I missed a one of the small crates with the, the blue microchips in it. So let's go see if we can nab that, and then we can process it for another upgrade of some sort. completely fill up on our O2. Come on. Jeez. Get through there, man. All right. I don't remember exactly where it was. Um, was it this? Yeah. No. Was it? Hmm. I mean, obviously we didn't get that one, but seems to me like there was another one too. We didn't have, you know, we have the tier two flashlight now, so we can see a lot better. Um, but it seems to me like the one that I missed was, yeah, I guess that was it. That must've been it. Okay. Fair enough. When we were in here the first time, you know, and I missed it, we had just the T1 flashlight and I think I really quickly, you know, moved this way, but I missed it because that light is, you know, covers such a small area. All right, let's see what we get with this, man. T4 mining. You know what? We need to do all of those. Actually, I haven't done any of the mining speed chips yet. Uh, yeah, so we need to do that. We'll work on that when we get back to the base. Fan freaking tastic. All right, let's go uh, over to the aluminum fields. We're getting more water. It's a beautiful thing. And we will grab uh, as much aluminum as we can haul back with us. Probably need to do the same thing here, too, where we put in uh, a big storage uh, locker. Unless I already did that. I don't remember. Did we? Yes, we did. Uh, oh, yeah. There's there's a rod right there. Okay, let's... Well, here. Before we do that, let's grab everything out of here. All right. Put um, the mag and the cobalt back. Grab all the aluminum. I think we'll put three iron back and grab these items. We do not need the golden effigies. They're not used for anything other than decoration, which is fine. We like decoration, but it is not a high priority right now. Let's take this. And that will give us room for actually one more thingy, which should be an iron, I guess. Cool. All right, let's head back to the base. We're going to make all of our mining speed upgrades. And then we're going to disassemble our tier one uh, power plants and replace them with tier two. And hopefully we can get enough materials back from all of the tier ones to make enough tier twos to produce even more power than all of the current tier ones. Or the other option is to just leave the tier ones there because I've been told that it is not inefficient to do that and just build new tier twos next to them. So that is also an option we could consider. If we, here, let's go back into the base here. Let's put uh, all of the aluminum in there. It's a nice little haul of aluminum. We'll put the iridium there. Uh, yeah, see, we don't have, we need three uranium rods to make one big boy. 
Um, if we're going to leave the little ones in place, that means we either need to launch another rocket, which is not a bad idea because of the bonus that we will get if we do that. Or we go see if one of the uranium caves has uh, the ice has melted in it so we can get into it and just pick the uranium. Wow, look at that. We're already full here. Crazy. Whoa, we did it again. Right now we're sitting at 840 kilowatts power, or, or sorry, 8.4 kilowatts, which is not very much because this guy alone is going to require 90. Um, all right, so one of these produces 331 energy. Do we have an explosive? No, we have a fertilizer. We do have a sulfur though. What do we need to make an explosive powder? Two sulfurs and an iridium. Okay. Um, actually, no, I have sulfur up there. Okay. If we, okay, so these produce 86. We'd have to take two of these down. We'd be losing 173 power if we remove two of those to build one of these. And we'd still get 331. So it would be a difference of whatever 331 minus 170 is, <laughs> which is 160. I think we'd get we'd gain 160 additional power over what we currently have. That is worth doing. Again, if I decide I want to take the little guys down. Hmm. Let's see here. Decisions, decisions. I'm inclined to go with another rocket only because of the other benefits that will give us. But I don't remember, again, what it is that it requires for the uranium rocket. So let's go take a look-see. We're going to have to build the rocket, too. Okay, that's... Okay, so that's... Yeah, two supers and three cobalts. That's not too terribly expensive, except for that I only have one super left. It looks like most of the debris is clearing out. We could scooch over to the sand falls. Um, or actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, that there's our flower spreader. That is awesome. That cave way over there where my cursor is, is a cave that actually has super alloy on the floor. And it's closer than the sand falls. There's still probably some left in the labyrinth too, but I've cleaned most of that out. These guys generate 128 oxygen just straight up. Plus, if we put golden flowers in them, then they're really going to kick ass and take names. And we need supers for those as well. 34 energy. All right. Let's do the let's do the rocket route. We're going to do the rocket route. So, the first thing we need to do is let's grab this sulfur and an iridium and we'll make an explosive powder. I have more sulfur in here. Okay. I, I, I'm short of super, right? Yeah, okay. Well, let's let's wait on the rocket for a second. Um, I'm going to put... Let's put this back in here. We'll sit on it for a moment. Let's pin... Just remember, three cobalts, two supers, and a rocket. Okay, let's pin this. We need one super... We need 
three rods. And I think we'll get the rest of what we need by taking down two of these little guys. So let's do this one. And this one. And we have everything we need. Oh, did I... I forgot to grab the explosive powder. Should have just kept it in my inventory. Coulda, shoulda, woulda. There we go. All right, these are a bit larger than the little guys, so I think we're gonna start a power. These are actually the largest uh, power machines that we will have to put down because the next level, the fusion generators are actually quite a bit smaller. What if we put those, what if we put these over on the plateau? That might be cool. Yeah, we got that issue where we can't uh, put it on the stone. All right, there we go. A tier two nuclear reactor. Is that what that is? Nuclear, yeah, reactor. Okay, so we essentially gained about a hundred and what did I say? Sixty power by doing that. More than we had before. One hundred sixty kilowatts. Is there any iridium down in the canyon? Yes, there's some down here. Let's go grab it. Um... We got a bunch of super left back from that too. All right, that's good. I wonder if this uh, this cave is opened up enough now for us to get through. I've checked it fairly recently, so it still might not be, but it's been a little while. Because this would definitely be a shortcut for us to get back through. Uh, yes, it's open. Look at that. Okay, awesome. All right, well, we don't really need then to... I don't think we really need to, to build that stairway I was talking about because this gets us pretty close to out of the canyon, back to the base. I still might. I don't know. We'll see. Very nice. All right, let's put this iridium in here. We're going to need one. Wait, what do we need for a rocket? One iridium, two uraniums, and a super. Okay. Grab those. Make the rocket. I just got. An achievement that says getting comfy craft a hundred items that must be new stuff based upon um you know the, the new version of the game okay let's put all these supers back in here but we need two supers we need uh here we'll put this extra iridium in here for now we need two supers and three cobalt do I have any cobalt in overflow? I do not. Okay, that's our next rocket. Let's put the sulfur up here. Love the music. Absolutely love it. So this will increase our heat output by 2000%. We just increased our pressure by 1000. And, and it'll bring us some more uranium. Okay, go to it, man. There's a, a blue crate over on that plateau. Excellent. You know, um, for those of you who don't know, 
You can actually knock those rockets off course if you run into them when they take off. It's really funny. Oh, <laughs> I was doing that in, in my season one playthrough, but well, maybe we'll maybe we'll do it for funsies at some point. All right. Next on the agenda, let's top off our food there. Are you, you're probably ready to pick as well. Oh, and you are too. All of you are. Look at that. Okay. Let's look at this. So we have, we still have 166.9 power. So I think the next thing we want to do is make our biodome tier two. And I need to decide how, when, where, and why we're going to do that. What we might do is... We might extend that out over this side. But to do that, we're going to need to increase uh, or extend our corridor a ways. So let's grab some of that. Let's grab some of this. Let's grab some of this. I don't think we need quite so much of that. Forgot to press control. I think we're probably going to need to go at least three. Uh... No. I want you to go here. All right. There's some uranium over there. Now, what do we need to make this biodome tier two? Oh, you know what? We can't make that yet until we start making algae because we need algae to make bacteria samples and to make fertilizer. Maybe that's what we should do. Maybe we should make ourselves an algae collector or tin. How close are we to the tier two version of that? Cause it's way better. Um, bup, 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 bup. Is it in the bio? Yeah, it's right here. 25. Okay. We have 10.3 thousand G's of biomass. We need 25 to unlock that. That's going to be a ways yet. So I think we probably should build some tier ones and get them going. They only use 15.6 uh, energy. We have one bioplastic nugget that can go towards that. I don't, you know what? I don't have any eggplant. I think I ate it all. <laughs> all right. We need to, I need to put some more food growers down. Why don't we switch out all of our beans for eggplant for now? Because eggplant's going to actually become pretty important for, you know, for making fertilizer in particular as we move forward. Um, and we're also going to need mushrooms. We're going to have to grow some shrooms for, uh, to make bio for, to make this stuff, the bioplastic stuff. Okay. Put that there, put that there. Silicon is full. Uh, we need a magnesium. Do we have one in here? Yes, we do. And a super. And an eggplant, which of course, like I said, we don't have. Okay, so let's just put... Uh, let's put those three things in there and we'll sit on them until we get some eggplant mature and then we'll go put down an algae collector. Right, okay, so that means the biodome tier two is on hold for a bit. Next, let's look at let's just do our mining thingy upgrades so mag silicon aluminum ok 
Okay. Tier two is silicon and a super. Tier three is silicon, aluminum, and super. And tier four is silicon super and an Oz, and we're out of super. We do have some Oz, so we're just gonna have to find a super. All right, let's put this in our slot. And we'll, we will get that upgraded one last time because why the hell not, right? That's done for now. What do we need to make flower spray? Ah, oh, shit, we need super for that too. We need super for everything. Uh, well, we have one furt that we can use to make that the first flower spreader. So I think we better run over to that cave and pick up a bunch of super off the ground. I do believe that is our next move. Um... Let's just grab one of you to top off. Let's grab. Put all of you in there. We'll take one water with us. We should be fine. And we'll probably should. Pick up some stuff to make another shed along the way. Or. You know, with our oxygen capacity that we have now, I think we'll take down this shed here and move it over there. Because, you know, we, we can get all the way to the desert ship and back probably a couple times over before we would actually need O2 now. And I already have a shed over there. I think that's what we'll do. Deconstruct, deconstruct, deconstruct. Let's go. Later on, we'll come over here and we'll put an extractor down, and then we'll just auto mine super alloy. But the game's also going to start hitting us with super alloy meteor showers, which gives you a buttload of super alloy. So, yeah, we have options, man. We have options. All right, let's just build the. Oh, we got to build the this too, which, guess what? It requires super alloy. How about that? Never would have guessed. All right, let's put you right uh, there. Put you down. Um, yeah, I guess we can put the little chest back down for the nonce anyway. Either that or let's grab two more iron and make a big one. I like that idea better. Okay, let's go get some super alloy. We'll leave that chest for later. There's actually not a whole bunch of this stuff in here. Another chest. So maybe we'll go behind the sand falls and grab what's over there too. We have we have water, right? Yeah, okay. There's the warden wall. <clears throat> That's part of the story, which we will be hit, hitting at some point. What? How come the thing we do is not there? That's interesting. There's supposed to be like a little altar kind of thingy there. Maybe it doesn't appear until we activate the the quest line or something. I don't know. I had already done that before I came in here for the first time in season one, so. Maybe that's what the deal is. Okay, I think that's it for this room. Uh, no, actually, it isn't. Okay, let's 
go through here. This is actually where we... Yeah, that's how, how, how we came in. Let's go this way. We came around there. I think we went through here. It's a little bit of a maze in here. Mm, is there anything up on this shelf? Negative. Nothing up there either. Okay. All right, that's not a whole lot. It's a little bit, but not a whole lot. Um, do we have enough water to do the sandfalls and then get all the way back to our base? Well, that's breaking the rules, though, actually, isn't it? We can't do that. We can't break the rules. All right, let's head back and uh, get some water. Um, we could... No, we can't. I don't think we can. I was going to say, we could go to the other shack in the starter area, but I don't think there's any ice left over there. All right, so we're waiting on eggplant for the algae spreader. It's 65% of the way there. Why don't we make our first flower spreader? We need a furt, two waters, and a magnesium. A furt, two waters, and a magnesium. We're also going to come over here. We're going to grab a Tusca seed. Swapping out with this golden. And put the golden seed in the flower spreader. We got a little bit of a bare spot right here, so I think this is a good place for it. Okay, so right now, this guy... Uh, oh, that's not giving us any oxygen at all. It's giving us 7.36 GS of plants. Okay, if we put this in... Now it's given us 772.8 parts per quadrillion of oxygen compared to 86. <laughs> That's a huge boost. And then when we get the tier three flower spreaders, those are going to exponentially uh, produce even more oxygen. And what this will do, if you haven't already guessed, is pretty soon we'll start to see some golden flowers growing in our front yard. It'll be beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, all right, so we still have some supers left. We needed supers for uh, this. Well, we needed one super for that, so let's put that in. Oh, we already did put it in there. Okay. Um, what we could do is... How much power do we have now? And yeah, we still have 132 thingies of power. We're almost 80% of the way to lakes, which is good. Uh, what are we getting close to unlocking? This is about halfway to, to 41, whatever that symbol is, Kelvin for heat. That's a ways off. 63, that's on its way. Lake Water Collector is really close. Um, For that... We don't have any water right near our base, but there is water not too far away over here that we could, uh, probably the closest water. We could pop it down over here, and then it'll just be an extra water source for us. Look at this, man. Haven't been back over here in a little bit. Nice little glacial uh, spring here. Lake, pond. However you want to pronounce that. So I think that's probably the closest standing water to our base. Later on, of course, there's going to be 
uh, quite a bit of water down in the canyon. So I'll tell you what, I'm going to pick all of the iridium and uranium from the meteorites. And when I'm finished with that, we will probably, ooh, how are we going to get over there? Uh, we're going to have to build a bridge. Okay. Uh, when I'm finished with that, the eggplant should be done, and then we should be able to make our... Whatever the hell we needed the eggplant for, I can't remember. <laughs> so, yeah, I get old, I forget stuff. It's just the way it goes. All right, I'll bring you guys back here in just a little bit. Okay. Um, we're going to build a bridge over here. Stop it. Hold down control. Oh, we're out of iron. Okay. That could potentially have some good stuff in it, so we should wait. Uh, wait on that. Oh, shit. The train's a little wonk there. Wonk-a-doodle. Let's get the uranium over here. We're going to let that chest ferment a little longer. And I don't see... Uh, at least over on this side, I don't see any more loose meteors. Let's go check around the back side of these canyons, though, too. I have an O2 on me, right? Yeah, okay. There's a, an iridium cave over there. You know what I actually should have done now that I think about it? Is I should have put the iridium extractor that we have over in the starter area in that cave. Oh, there's some over there. Maybe I'll do that. I'll, maybe I'll grab that off camera and uh, move it over here because it's closer. Makes sense, right? Alright. Probably not going to get any more meteorites that far away from where we were. Come up the canyon this way. Don't see anything that landed down there. That's pretty far away, though. All right, so I think we've grabbed all of the, the loose stuff from the two meteor storms that we had. Oh, there's some right over on our rocket platform. What do you know? Let's pop this in here. That can go in there for the moment. Are you guys done? Not quite yet. 94%. Taking their own sweet time, man. We should have enough uranium now to make th three more rods that we can then use to plop down another Tech 2 reactor. And that'll give us a nice little batch of power for a while. Because, let's see, we're waiting for the eggplant to do this algae thingy. Yeah, right. Okay. Uh, we want to make this. We might be able to actually do that right now. Grab three supers. 
Um, I need a total of 18, uh, no, I need a total of 27 uranium to make three rods. So we've got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 12. <laughs> We're short one. Unbelievable, man. Okay. That's right. We can, uh, we can go hit the uranium caves or do yet another rocket. Okay, you guys are done. Uh, we'll put you in here, except for we're going to hang on to one of you. Now, for the recycler, we need to make two microchip deconstructors. So we need two silicon, two magnesium. Okay, let's make our recycler. Uh, let's see. We could put this. Where do we want to put this? Let's just put it right here for now. We may. This may not be its permanent location, but we'll put it there for now. Now, the cool thing about this is that we can, when we start getting a bunch of overflow of, in this case, iridium, we can turn all of those into rods. And then if we need loose, we just throw one back in the recycler and we, we get the loose ones back. And this just saves a hell of a lot of space. And you, you get the, the full amount back like that. It's a beautiful thing, isn't it? Everybody say it's a beautiful thing. Okay. Um, we need some food. Now, let's grab uh, you, you, and you. And we have everything we need to make our first algae generator. Let's go plop that sucker down, and then we need to wrap up this episode, I think. I'm going to drink one of those right now. Um, Just trying to decide if we should try and make it work in this little pond over here it might not be deep enough it'd be nice if it did work though because it's a lot closer to home i guess the question first is will it let me put it there oh yeah it will all right we'll put it here and if it doesn't work then i'll go move it over to the deep lake how's that how's that grab you and this also does, by the way, generate 101.6 parts per quadrillion oxygen and 0.64 plants. Love it. Okay, guys, we're going to wrap up this episode here. I think off camera, I'm going to run back over to that cave way over there, grab the iridium extractor and bring it over here and put it down into the cave in the canyon just because it's closer. It just makes sense to do that. I don't know why I didn't think about that in the first place, but, you know, can't think of everything. Hey, look at that. we got golden flowers growing. Are they... Maybe they're done growing. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, cool. We are currently 92% of the way to lakes, and it's moving pretty damn fast. So, yeah, we made some great progress, I think, in this episode on our terraformation. Next episode, the plan will be to make the T2 biodome. I want to throw down some more flower spreaders. Probably make some more food growers so we can get more food production going, particularly eggplant production for fertilizer. And I'm gonna make uh, I'm gonna make another one of those. Um, how how close are we to the tier four heater again? Oxygen sixty three. Yeah, I might I might end up putting down a couple more tier three heaters in our heater shack. And once we get to the tier four heater, you know, then I'll probably tear all of these down anyways. So that's the plan. Stan, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.